today's video, I'm going to be using all this stuff that Kawaii Slime Company sent me to make slime. I've got containers, I've got clay, I've got clay sprinkles, charms, I've got it all. And I'm going to show you some really cool slime ideas using Kawaii Slime Company's supplies. They only have the cutest, the greatest, the most amazing slime supplies and slime out there. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, follow me, yeah, and I think that's about it. Tell a friend about my channel today. Help me grow. Grow big. Yeah, I appreciate it so much. Now let's jump right into the video. Okay, so for pretty much all of the slimes I am going to be making today, I'm starting with my clear gloss. This is a little underactivated, but I'm going to just go with it. If you want to learn how I make my clear gloss, I have a few tutorials on my channel that you can check out. Um, big batch, small batch, clear slime tips, just search clear gloss or just go straight to my channel and you can kind of browse through the videos. I started off just using these mermaid-ish clay sprinkles. I am in love with clay, clay sprinkles. I can't talk today, guys. Sorry. Um, I just love it in just a plain clear slime. You could, of course, add glitters. I'm just going to add this little mermaid charm, and I am playing with it. So it's kind of fogging up, but I can't wait to see when this is cleared up and how it looks in these cute little container. This container is also from Kawaii Slime Company and I usually use kind of just boring normal containers. I know a lot of Slimers have like these fancy low profile containers. I don't know if I'm going to test those out eventually. I'm kind of liking what I'm working with right now but I've never tried anything like this. Just kind of like a different shape. It looks like a, a upside down snow globe. All right, so I'm setting that aside. Maybe I will update what it looks like when it clears up a little bit on my Instagram account at Rainbow Playmaker. I'm not sure, but stay tuned for that if I do decide to do that. So now I'm starting again with a base of clear gloss and I'm adding these shell charms. Sorry, they're not charms, they're glitter. These shell glitters that are, I believe, iridescent, but they're super, super pretty. Uh, Roxanne sent me blue ones as well that I'm not going to be showing in this video, but these are super, super cute. And if you stretch out your slime like this, you can get some nice crunch action going on. I feel like Kawaii Slime Company offers a good variety of mermaid items as well as unicorn horns and things along those lines kind of just like mystic fairy tales i don't know i love it it's like a hundred percent just what i love and just so cute it's like maximum cuteness you guys let me know names for all of these slimes in the comments i need names you guys names Comment what you would call this slime, comment what you would call the last slime, and so on. And, um, yeah, maybe I'll pick a winner. Mm, clay! I've been dying to try this clay out for the longest time, and I was surprised straight off that this came out of the bag so easily. I was thinking that I would have to cut the bag, but I didn't. It just smoothly came out. So I'm loving this color. I've never seen an air dry clay in this color before. And I am super excited to see how it looks once I mix some clear gloss into it. Again, this clear gloss is a little deactivated. Sorry about that. Um, but right away, I noticed there's a little sizzle. Do you guys hear that? Like this clay would be perfect for like a bread slime or if you want like a puffy fluffy slime i am very excited to test it out with a white glue base which i won't be doing in this video but i will be doing 
If you're not following me over on Instagram, I am way more active over there than I am over here on YouTube. I post at least three videos daily over there and I try to answer most of my DMs. I'm getting more and more DMs, so it's getting a little harder, but I do try. So if you have questions for me, feel free to leave comments here or go ahead and just DM me at Rainbow Playmaker. What do you think? Do you like this clay? Do you like it better than Daiso? Have you tried this clay? Let me know in the comments. I would love to hear from you guys. Usually when you add clay type sprinkles to a opaque slime like this one, they kind of get lost in the slime and you can't really see them that well, but I'm doing it anyways. I don't care. These clay sprinkles and all the varieties of sprinkles that Kawaii Slime Company offers are amazing. They are so cute and adorable. I actually like the way that this added a little flowery kind of texture to this clay slime. Slay or butter slime. What do you think? You like it pre-sprinkles or post-sprinkles? Let me know down below. I am going to store this slay slime in this cute macaron container. So I was so surprised. Um, I originally ordered a bunch of supplies from Roxanne and then, well, she gave me some freebies in that package as well. And then she contacted me and said, I'm going to send you a bunch of other things because I had told her that I wanted to do a bunch of videos showing how cute her products are. So she sent me all of this stuff uh, for free in that box you saw in the beginning of the video. And yeah, so this is really the first time that I'm testing out her items, but I know that pretty much all the big slimers love Roxanne and Roxanne is amazing. Go follow her on Instagram at Kawaii Slime Company. Her staff is pretty cute too. So yeah, tell her I sent you if you go on over there. Now I am using these clay sprinkles. I'm making a little fruit salad for you guys. So we got watermelon. I still don't know what those yellowish ones are. I don't know if it's a cut up banana. I don't know if it's supposed to be kiwi. Uh, I don't know. What do you guys think it is? Those are definitely orange slices. Those are definitely watermelon slices. And then what, what do you think the third fruit is in my fruit salad slime? Comment down below and let me know. Also, what do you think about these containers? Do you like them? Have you tried them? I am curious to know what you think. Now it's time to add some glittery, glittery M&Ms to my clear gloss. These are so sparkly. And I don't know that I would use them like this. Like if you were to purchase these from Roxanne, I think they would be way better. It's just like a charm on top of an M&M themed slime. Unless you're using the M to stand for Marjorie, which in that case, I say use them all. We're going to call this the Marjorie Rainbow Playmaker Slime. Since M, M is my first initial. But yeah, super, super cute. Moving on to the egg slime. I think out of the entire package, these I was these are the things that <laughs> I was most excited about these eggs. I don't know why. Maybe it's the whole world record egg thing. I'm not sure. But they're super cute. And I think that I would go ahead and add glitter to some of these slimes. But I didn't just because I only wanted to use Kawaii Slime Company add-ins for this video, but maybe I will go ahead and add some glitters and other things to these slimes over on my Instagram account. We'll see. But I do like how this looks just plain in the clear gloss. And by the way, this is how clear gloss is supposed to be. So it's perfect activation right here. 
and you can see at the beginning it looked a little thicker than the others that were deactivated so those were just kind of old ones that I had sitting around and I wanted to use them so they wouldn't go to waste so that's why I used them in the video but one of my favorite things to do with clear gloss is stretch it out like this put something in it glitter or clay sprinkles or something just something to add in and then just keep stretching it stretching it it fluffs up so much and then it just has such cute little crunches and bubble pops and it's just so satisfying and soothing and I just love it love 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 I'm using the word love about clear gloss I do have a slime shop I get lots of messages every day asking me if I sell slime I do sell slime I am always stocked I do have certain slimes that sell out really fast clear gloss is one of them uh, my jellies are also um, fast sellers so if you want one of those I recommend getting them as if you see them available on the site but that's at rainbowplaymaker.com and yep all right so these foam balls were actually from an original purchase that I made from Roxanne from I don't know a couple a few months ago and I just think they look amazing in clear slime this has to be my favorite one out of the bunch today that I've done for you. This and the egg one maybe. But just the color combos of these balls, the color combination of the balls. I'm talking about the color combination of the balls here, you guys. I like it. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I really like it. It's very Easter-y, which is just a coincidence because Easter is next week. So this is pretty much the last slime that I have for you guys today. I do have more supplies from Roxanne that I wasn't able to show you. This video is just getting way too long, but I will be showing you across all my social media platforms, Instagram, maybe TikTok, I'm not sure, but make sure you're following and you have notifications turned on so you can see all of the latest and greatest from Rainbow Playmaker. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you being here. I love all the support that I get from all of you on a daily basis everywhere. You guys are amazing. So yeah. See you next time. Bye.